I tried so hard to be ready for you on time, but as you can see, she has a mind of her own. And so we put a hat on it. To breathe the air they taste so sweet in. Knows all my strength, knows all my weakness. Reminding me that I was a child. Reminding me Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. Just a quick elevator speech. I'm Kim and you're entering into my weight loss journey as a peri postmenopausal woman. And I just wanna give you a quick disclaimer that whatever I share with you is what I'm doing strictly to lose weight and to get to a healthy BMI. That's my absolute goal. So if you're interested in that kind of content, stay tuned. Today I'm going to share with you exactly what I've been doing to break through my month long plateau. It has been a long time and I'll tell you exactly what I'm eating and what I have changed to reach weight loss, which I shared with you in the previous video. The scale finally moved, finally. It was getting really tough on me mentally to weigh in and have the needle stay the exact same or have that, those digital numbers stay exactly the same for a month. I was frustrated and I was discouraged. And I'm sure all of us have felt that at some point. But I did start to think, what if it's, you know, it's a plateau, but what if that, what if it means my body is now accustomed to the amount of calories I'm eating? What if it's accustomed to exactly what I'm doing and I need to change things up? So that's where I had to make some changes. I went with that what if, and then I made those changes over the last week, and that's, I believe, what finally made the scale move. So I'm gonna break down what I did. I'm also going to show you visually with the foods that I'm eating and how my meals look now, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I'm also going to tell you why I'm eating what I'm eating. So with that being said, here's my food and exactly what I'm doing to continue losing weight on this journey. So my eating style for breaking through my plateau looked like this. I changed out some things. I now have about one cup of starchy carbs and that's that plantain over there steamed in the oven with no oil. And then a slice of whole grain bread, a little bit of fat. I use the eat to live ratios for fat, about two ounces of avocado and then one fruit. And then over here I just have some non-starchy veg, some pickled onion and tomato. Now for lunch and dinner, they're exactly the same, so I'll only do one. Here's my soup for dinner and then a large chopped salad. I do limit my carbs at dinner time and I'll add in just maybe a quarter of a cup of corn or something. I do thank you for watching. For those of you who are interested, I'm going to share something with you that has been helping me tremendously. And I'll give you a little, not just tip, but a lifeline. I like to think of it as a lifeline. So one of the things I've been doing consistently since the very beginning, not just appearing on YouTube, but even for the last few decades, I have been sitting down and I give thanks for my food, but I give thanks in a different way. I actually invite God into my food. I invite him into my eating and I ask him to help me with the challenges and the struggles that I'm facing. So a prayer might look like this, God, thank you for this food. Let it be a nourishment to my body and God, please help me to, to honor you with the way I'm eating. And if I'm entering into a dangerous place, please help me hear you and pull me out of it. In Jesus' name, amen. I also have a scripture and I will oftentimes put those scriptures up in my bathroom or on my wall or near my scale when I pick it up because as much discouragement as we can face, I need some encouragement on this journey. And so I leave little breadcrumbs of encouragement for myself. I write scriptures out on note cards or I keep it on my phone or I put it somewhere where I can see them. And one of the scriptures that I'm absolutely in love with that I wanna share with you, I'm gonna look down and read it from my tablet for you. It says, let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. And what better time of need? God didn't say what types of things you could approach his throne for. He just said, come. He opened his arms and he said, come. So if you're struggling with eating, if you're struggling with getting balance in your life, if you're struggling with your marriage, if you're struggling with, I don't know, brownies and cupcakes or chips and soda or pizza, whatever the struggle is, 
he says come to his throne of grace and what that looks like is you simply bowing your head and saying God I need help and I don't have the answers and that's why I'm here I need your help help me to come out of this and help me to find victory over food or over weight loss and when you do that it's not a magical thing we don't control or command God it doesn't work like that but he is there to embrace you he is there to help you he wants to hear from you and he wants to take on your struggles and help walk you through them now when you do that what I have learned is because he's God he's gonna do it the way he wants to so he might work on you mentally he might work on you physically he might work on your emotions around food whatever it is leave space for him to work in your life leave that space open and invite him in and then thank him make sure you thank him when he is helping you when he does do something even before you see results thank him because you know he's on the scene and he cares for you and he's going to do what's best for you so leave space for God and invite him into your food into your meals into your heart and into your decisions and he'll show up for you because he loves you I hope that helps in some way thank you for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next video